About 20 years ago, my mother fenced off the creek line, so the boundary of our property. And um, you can see today that it's now reached maturity. So we have about, on, on, across that entire boundary, we have shade during uh, drought and during floods, there is a lot of erosion control. So it really does stabilise that riparian area. And I wanted to continue that conservation legacy and, and fence off uh, the farm dams as well. Uh, but I just didn't have the capital until this grant uh, came along. And the idea is to eventually fence off all the farm dams, but just to start with one and see how we go um, has been a great first step. The broader plan is to get 10% shade in each of the farm paddocks and have all the farm dams fenced off. Uh, so that means that we can increase our um, biodiversity around the riparians, around the perimeter, so we can get more reeds and get more trees planted, which is difficult if you have grazing cattle uh, around those dams. Having them fenced off means that, that we can ensure that the trees can reach maturity and uh, we can kind of see what we've already got on the farm along, along the creek line. Once we fence this dam off, the idea is that we get bring back the biodiversity, so get the reeds and, and those type of grass species which will filtrate and the, any water that does come on. And then if we are able to get substantial shade coverage through, through the trees that we plant, um, you see a dramatic decrease in evaporation loss during drought times. But from a biodiversity point of view, um, during drought times it not only affects our domestic stock but also wildlife so having that kind of refuge on our farm means that um, during droughts we can increase, we can still have that productivity but we can also um, have biodiversity as well. With the contractor we were able to kind of develop a way of making sure that fence was in the right position all the way around the dam um, so yeah so it could be um, beneficial during drought, not losing a lot of pasture, but also knowing that during a flood event, it, the fence itself won't be um, damaged. Having a plain wire on top and then on the bottom means that native animals can get over the top and can land on the top of the fence and can get under without facing difficulties. We will, through rotational grazing, allow the cattle in there from time to time to keep the grasses down and to just be around that area and then we'll move them out. So they're not constantly in there trampling around the dam or, or um, damaging the trees. So it is all about preparing uh, for that drought and to make sure the dams are in the, their best condition when we have to rely on stored water rather than rainfall. So I would encourage any landholders to start considering fencing off their, their dams and knowing that there will always be a gate, you can always let the livestock back in, but there is substantial um, biodiversity and productivity increases if you do so. So it's not about losing productivity or losing acreage to conservation, it's about making sure that balance is right so you can have both biodiversity wildlife alongside domestic farmed animals and there really isn't anything to lose. And if you are supported through government grants like this, then it's a, it's a benefit for all, both landholders, your livestock and um, the native flora and fauna around you.